In this lesson, we'll learn about adding comments. And comments within Excel are items that you can add to any cell within your worksheet. And basically, it's just a, a note to yourself that you want to remember for later. Comments don't print. And so it's really good for just reminding yourself of something or adding something to the cell that you don't necessarily need to see on the screen and you don't need to, it to print, but you need to know about it when you look at that again. So let's say that I want to add a comment to this cell, A3. Two ways you can do this. You can either use your review tab and click new comment. You can also use shift F2 on your keyboard or my favorite way to do this is just to right click on the cell itself and choose insert comment. So let's say I want to add a note or a comment about this particular cell, A3. And so we're going to highlight the information that's already there. And let's say that this was the Bumblebee book. Okay, you can type into this into the comment area. You can change the size of your comment. You can add as much or as little text as you want into this comment area. You can even format your comment as if you were formatting anything else within Excel. You can highlight it and change just a couple of aspects about it. You can change the text larger, smaller, unbold, and so on. So let's say I want my comment to look like that. Once you click away from your comment, it's now placed within a cell. And the way that you can visually see at a glance that there are comments applied to any cells within your worksheet, you'll see this little red triangle in the upper right hand corner of your cell. And when you place your cursor over that right triangle, the comment will appear and show this was the Bumblebee book that we sold. And so let's go to this one, tools and hardware. I'm going to choose right click and insert a comment. And let's say that this was a hammer. So I'm going to type hammer there. You can create whatever notes you want. Again, when you go to print this out, these comments will not print, but when you hover over that cell, the comment will appear and show you what, what is in that cell. You can also manage your comments and view all of your comments by going to the review tab. And if there are comments applied, you will see these buttons are activated. So you can either create a new comment here, which we learned about already. We can go to the next comment. If you click next, because my cursor was down below where the comments appeared, Microsoft Excel wants to know if you want to start now at the beginning of the screen because it's already searched from where my cursor is down to the bottom of that selection. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And now it's going to find the first comment, which was our Bumblebee book comment. And then if we click Next again, it'll find the next comment, which was Hammer. You can go to Previous. You can delete your comments easily by going here and just clicking Delete. Or you can show all your comments at the same time. So if you click this Show All Comments, now all of the comments become active. And if you had more, you could scroll through. If you scroll down through your sheet, you would be able to see all of the comments at a glance all at the same time. So that's a toggle button. It's on right now. I'm going to click it again to turn that off so we can't see the comments until we hover over them. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete those comments. So I'm going to click on cell A3 and delete this comment using the ribbon tab. And then this comment I'm going to select. And you can also right click and either edit the comment or delete the comment here. I'm going to go ahead and delete it using my shortcut menu here delete comment and now these buttons up here become inactive because we now have no comments anywhere within this worksheet. And that concludes our lesson on adding comments.